nothing greedy about Nosy. She took two rats in one shot. <laughs> She's been on this perch all day long, patiently sitting by the door waiting for dinner. And yeah, I got her food on a plate because I don't want her biting into the carpet. But she's been patiently sitting there waiting by the door all day for me to feed her. She knows me better than I know myself sometimes. But open the door, crack, put the plate in. And uh, that's pretty cool, really. She caught, grabbed both the rats off the plate at the same time, which was pretty interesting, I thought. Quite talented individuals. Yeah, two rats in one strike. Now that takes talent. I wouldn't open that door now for all the money in the world. I love this arrangement. I got the inside door closed so Grumpy can't come out <clears throat> because he's getting ready to shed so he's not eating. And this way I did it before when I had their outdoor enclosure. I can feed one outside and one inside. Whoever decides they want to eat outdoors, and they eat out here, and the one that wants to eat inside eats in there, and then one of the two indoor enclosures. So this works out great. Today I put up a double heat light, dot that in, it's hooked right to the vinyl coated wire in the screen. So at night all I have to do is plug the outlet in in the house. The cord runs through my wall underneath the floor of the cage and all the way down to the other end for the double heat light for outdoors at night. Oh yeah, she caught both rats in one shot. I gotta see how she's gonna figure this one out. And I got two more waiting for her. Yeah, and she will eat four colossal rats in one feeding and that's nothing to her to eat that much. Oh yeah. She sat there acting like she was sleeping, which is a trick she's had for years. She acts like she's oblivious to you being there, and as soon as something moves, she's right on top of it. So, it took a lot of getting to learn to read her body language to feed her without getting charged at. But you just got to be smarter than a snake to outthink them. That's all it consists of, and the only way you can do that is spend a lot of time observing them. And an awful lot of time working with them and handling them so you understand the way they think. You understand how they react to certain stimuli and that basically that's it. But you, she's curled up on the end there. She almost covers this full eight foot board right here. That's folded in half, not just straightened out. But yeah, she got both rats in one shot. See how she's going to do this. She's right by the door. That's the front door. Yeah. Now I'm real happy about having those two heat lights down there at that end. They'll shine through on the vinyl coated wire and the screen at night so it'll brighten the enclosure up and it'll keep them nice and warm. That's the water dish in front of it. So it'll also, because it's close to those heat lights, help create more humidity inside of the enclosure. It's pretty, pretty humid here anyway. It's like 91% anyway. But she's real happy. She will, She came in one night at 3.30 in the morning, landed on top of Grumpy, woke him up. He started hissing at her, woke me up. So I came out and locked the door and locked her inside with him so I could come out here and take her old platform out and put this new one in. I love this wood. But it looks real good with the pine board. And she's very particular when she eats, so it'll take her a little while. But she's a good girl. No complaints. I've been on the receiving end of those teeth only twice in all the years I've had them. And that's something I never want to do again. And they were both my fault. So, yeah, you don't blame the snakes for it. I don't even know what she's got her mouth on. She's <laughs> wrapped around both of the rats. Who knows? Well, I know she can't pull the carpet up because it's got screws in it all the way around the edges. I made sure of that. So I didn't have any more incidences with my snakes grabbing hold of carpet when they strike. But that's why I put them on a dish. A lot less likely to happen. But she was up on the perch and she struck down and grabbed them both at the same time and tried to coil them up. And end result, she caught both of the rats at the same time. So, well, obviously she can only eat one at a time. I've seen her take really huge rabbits the size of like a three-pound rabbit. 
and fold it in half and swallow it. So it's nothing for her to do that. There she goes. Did you pick one? Did you decide which one you want to eat first? Yeah, that's my girl. That's my girl. And she's real particular. She inspects her food. Checks it all over before she eats it. These are my big babies, the largest of all my snakes, and they're so gentle and so sweet, and I don't know, understand what the big hype is about big snakes, because it all depends on the time you invest. These guys are big sweethearts. They're a little big for me to pick up and handle, though, but yeah. Go eat your rats. And she's got to inspect everything. She's very particular. Say, what the heck? You usually don't feed me on a plate. This is different. That's not food. It won't hurt her to bite it. It's iron stone, so it can't chip or break or anything. But I really wouldn't want to be her teeth if she did. She's not that stupid. So I'm not stupid, Mom. She just smells the rats on the plate. Say, what is this thing? I've never eaten off of a plate before. You know you eat when your snakes eat off of plates. <laughs> It's just for her own protection, though. I didn't want her biting the carpet. She's like, what the heck? She knows where that door is, too, let me tell you. She hears me unlock that padlock on the outside of it, and she's right on key, staring right at it. So, she doesn't miss a beat. And she's lightning fast when she strikes... Being 14 feet long plus, she's actually closer to 15 now, she has an amazing striking range. She's good for a good three foot strike, three, four feet striking straight out. So that's why I don't take any risk with her, any unnecessary risk, that's for sure. That's a lot of teeth to have buried in your arm. And they don't mean anything by it, they really don't. Snakes aren't, they have no animosity toward people, they have no issues with people. It just happens because you're warm-blooded and they sense the warmth on your body. So that's why people get bit when they're feeding snakes is because they mis misinterpret your body heat for the food heat. You're not going to eat my plate. That will not fit in your mouth. No way. <laughs> She's going to eat. I wish you would eat a little faster. You got two more rats after these two to work on. Yeah. <laughs> so I got two rats. This is awesome. You got two more when you're done. But I, uh, we did a lot today. An awful lot. I had the guy that cleaned up this backyard for me come in today and clean up that pile of junk I had out here. It's all gone. Cleaned up. And, uh, we... Ran a heavy gauge outdoor extension cord through my wall in there. It's under the cage. And it is wired in to these two lines that come out of their double heat light. This will, you can do 100 watt lights on each, one on each side of this. This door swings open. So during the day it's the screen and the final coated wire there but I close it at night to keep the cool air out but this is two bright heavy duty heat lights on this end and they're plugged into the power the extension cord under that plastic tote so it doesn't get moist the switches are online there but I keep the switches on so all I have to do is go in the house and plug it in into the outlet and their heat lights come on at night automatically decide what you're doing she's holding one uh, the lights reflecting on it that came out beautiful I'm very happy with it that building's coming down next weekend that old shed we emptied it out today actually the guy came here and cleaned up all this junk out here for me and he was here before when we took the trees down but that shed's coming down how you doing? So I'm going to go over there and get the other one and drag it over here. Drag it over this way. 
Yep. Gotta check them both out. Nice catch. Nice catch there, Mama. And all the glass in this enclosure is tempered glass, so it keeps the heat in when it's warm. When it's warm out, and when it's it's really good help for regulating the temps on an enclosure is using tempered glass. Even if you're building your own, it's a good idea to use that. But we've been busy all day. I got up at 5:30. I've gone non-stop, and here it's quarter of seven and I'm feeding Nosy outside. Grumpy's indoors shedding so he's not eating. Let's see how gentle they really are. They're not these big vicious animals. When they strike for food they strike really fast and really hard but bottom line is they're really not bad animals. They're quite gentle. Unless you're on the receiving end of a bad situation then they're not so gentle. Not really but yeah. I love them to death. They're my heart and soul. I'm so happy I could have this built for them. And Birdo did a beautiful job on it. I got the rest of the carpet up on the back wall there so they can't rub on that pine board and get scratched up or anything. So we're good to go. They got their new enclosure. They're happy. You going to rat? There we go. See how gentle she is. See, we're not vicious animals. We really aren't. They're quite gentle. If you go on YouTube and watch feeding videos, you get... Usually the strike is quite aggressive, but the eating process isn't really that aggressive. You gotta eat your, She's more interested in the smell on the plate. Eat your rats. Get your rat. No, slide it over a little bit and get it where I want it. She's more interested in the plate. And no, I'm not crazy enough to reach in there and try to take that plate out so it's not amusing you. No way. I trust you and I love you, but I'm not going to do any blood donating today. Now she's going to go get the other rat and bring it over. She does this. Picks back and forth, back and forth, till she decides which one she wants to eat first. Here we go. So I'm going to take the one over there by the window. I don't want anything to steal it, so I'm going to grab that one and eat that one first. <laughs> you got to learn to think like a snake. There is snake logic. It's hard to believe it, but there is. They have a thinking process. They have a reason for what they do. We may not always understand it, but for the most part, if you pay attention to them and observe them and watch them, you can see what they're doing. You can understand why they do what they do. They're really not a complex animal. They're really quite simple to understand. But you got to pay attention. Go get your rat. This is the first time you've eaten in your new outdoor enclosure. Will you quit licking the plate and eat your rat? <laughs> You're goofy, nosy. She's got that little cut on her lip, but it doesn't phase her at all. If there's food around, it definitely doesn't phase her. But she'll go back and forth between the two until she decides which one she wants to eat first. But, you know, I, I like showing people the gentle side of these animals because there's so many people that like to show off them striking at them and being aggressive and calling them mean and it, it, violent animals. They really are not vicious animals unless provoked. And if you provoke them and you get struck at, that's your responsibility for being stupid. That's all I can say to that is if you ask for it, you're probably going to get it. That's why it's important. To always be mentally alert and on the dot when you're working with big constrictors because they're very fast and very strong and you don't want to be in a bad situation. You really don't. I'm going to sit down out here and take a break while she decides which one she's going to eat. She does this in the house too. It'll take her two hours sometimes to eat two rats because she's so particular.
She better my good girl. Yes, I am. <laughs> now she's going to inspect the doorway. You smelled the rat on there, too. Let me guess. Eat your dinner. I've seen her take a couple hours, three hours, to eat a couple of rats because she's very particular. There we go. By the tail. Are you sure you're gonna bite your back, Goofy? Nosy. You're gonna bite yourself. You can't put the tail in your mouth first. That doesn't work well. You're biting your belly. Don't bite yourself. Uh, it happens. They do. If they can smell it on their skin, they make act, they make mistakes sometimes and bite themselves. Don't bite, eat the tail first. Eat the rat. Silly. But they realize they got their own skin in their mouth. They don't want it. You know, I found that fascinating when snakes bite themselves. You never see blood and you never see puncture marks. Which I find is very impressive. Very confusing to me. But yeah, I, I've had that happen a lot with my snakes. They'll smell where a feeder got on their skin and bite themselves. But there's never any blood and there are never any puncture marks where they bite themselves. So I just don't get it. There she goes. She found one. So I picked one. That tail thing didn't work too well, did it, Nosy? <laughs> They're so amusing. She'll get it in a little while. I may as well sit down and take a break while she's deciding what she's going to do. I wish you'd hurry up. you got two more to go, and I don't want to be out here in the dark feeding you. Silly girl. These are boa constrictor occidentalis. Uh, most people know them as Argentine boas. These two are really old. They've been raised since they were little, little, little. But they're brother and sister, and they've always been housed together, and they always get along great together. I just don't feed them together for obvious reasons. I wouldn't want to have to break up a fight over food with these two. But yeah, they're good guys. I love them both. This is nosy and grumpy's in the house. They're my heart and soul. I love them to death. That's another piece of tail. Don't do that. You're going to get my carpet. Oh, gosh. Nosy. See? She corrected herself. See, we're not stupid. I'm going to sit down and take a break while you figure out so what particular. you're going to do. People say, don't There's a lot of them. They are, but they're very particular animals. You going to get snows this time? Yeah, I'll take that one. There you go. You got it. Nice job, Mama. So I don't want to eat that plate. I'm taking that over here to eat it. <laughs> so nope, I'm not going to eat that plate. Now I'll wait till she gets started eating that one and get the tongs and put the other rat back up on the plate to be sure she's not going to grate the carpet. I've had that happen a few times. Grumpy's once always done it, not nosy, but I don't want to take any chances on her starting a bad habit. Yeah. But right now wouldn't be a safe time to open the door. Wait till they got at least a third of the body in their mouth. It's on the way down because if their teeth are just holding on to it inside their mouth, they hate, they, if they feel threatened, they think you're going to try to take the food away from them, they will let go of it and come at you. Sorry, I'm talking in strange tongues tonight. I'm so exhausted I can't hardly see straight, but yeah. It's been a long day since 5.30 this morning going non-stop. Let's see how gentle they really are. They're not these big, vicious animals. They really aren't. It's the greatest feeling in the world to have people come to your house. They're scared to death of snakes, like the work crew that came here to cut down the huge maple tree. They were all terrified of snakes until I took Chewy outdoors, and then they 
all wanted to touch him, and they all wanted to pet him, and then they all wanted to hold him, and they were taking pictures of each other holding the snake to show him to their wives and their families and everything. And by the time they left, they were so excited. They just loved holding Chewie and spending time with him. They were very impressed with him. Everybody said the same thing. They're not all what people lead you to believe they are. I said, no, they aren't. It, it depends on the time you invest with them. I got this up against the glass. I don't even know if my microphone's picking it up or not. But yeah. There she goes. Now, oh, unlock the door and move her other rat back onto the plate and give her her last two on the plate with that one and then she'll be good for the night. She'll curl up and go to sleep. Yum, yum, yum. Look at that big mouth you got. I gotta do that before she gets arrested because I don't want to be in a bad situation. And it's just that easy if you understand your snakes and know how to read their body language and know how they react to everything. I just opened the door, put another one of the big rats in on the plate, took the one that was laying on the carpet off the carpet and put it on the plate. She sat there and watched me while she's eating. It's no big deal. It really isn't. Very amusing, very intelligent, very perceptive. Very, very alert animals. A lot more so than people think they are. That a good dinner. So I laid here all day waiting for you to do that. Yep, I laid here all day waiting for that dinner. <laughs> Love them to death. She's a big girl. And they've all been raised on rats. I tried rabbits once for them, and it gave them diarrhea, acute diarrhea so bad I never tried it again. She and uh, Grumpy both had massive watery stools for about two weeks, and I just like, nope, I'm not doing that anymore. So I don't know why people expect you to always have to give your big snakes big food, because you don't. It's easier for them to digest rats than it is rabbits and pigs and stuff. It's a lot st less stressful on their digestive system, for sure. But, yeah, it's a personal choice. They're your snakes. You're responsible for them. Do what you want to do. Myself, mine are all fine on rats. They always have been. They're happy with them. So, that's the way it is. There you go. That's a good mama. That big mouth you got. I wish you'd turn around the other way so I could see it. But there we go. Gotta love them. They definitely have a purpose in life. Other than just making my life better and my days brighter. And they definitely do that for me. Such a sweetheart. Love them to death. So I'll come back out in about an hour and see if she ate her other two. She'll probably be back up on her perch sleeping. It's just that easy. 